Norman Rockwell meets a Grey's Anatomy cliffhanger, a tiny town, a heart attack, and all the people who streamed out to keep pumping and pumping and pumping, Dan Harris explains. It was just another cold winter's evening in tiny, remote Goodhue, Minnesota, where they don't even have a traffic light. Then something unusual, a 911 call. 911, what's the emergency? Hey, we're at Dan Don Foods in Goodhue and the guy just fell. A man named Howard Snitzer had hit the ground with a massive heart attack. The only customer in the grocery store at the time, Candace Kane, started first aid. And then from across the street, Roy and Al Lodemeyer of Roy and Al's auto service rushed over. He was in trouble. He was in trouble. They began taking turns performing CPR, switching at the point of pure exhaustion without missing a beat. And as news spread, their number grew. A pair of IBM employees handing it off to a plumber, who handed it off to a carpenter, who handed it off to a county employee. In total, two dozen pairs of hands. We just lined up and one guy had enough, uh, next guy jumped in. And Amazingly, none of these people had any idea who Howard Snitzer was. The paramedics arrived to an astonishing scene. It was unbelievable. There were probably 20 in line waiting for their turn to do CPR. This lasted for 96 minutes until Howard's pulse started, and then they transported him to the hospital. We've got four souls on board. Ten days later, he walked out of the Mayo Clinic miraculously healthy and incredibly grateful. I happen to have a king-size heart attack in the right place at the right time. And these guys would not give up. The other night, a reunion between all those people who wouldn't give up. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. And this man who is now no longer a stranger. Dan Harris, ABC News.